Hello YouTubers, uh, this is the second week where we um, uh, do a quick demo for our progress on uh, a new beta web application I developed with a great team of engineers that I call Gitfile. Gitfile is an application that helps you kind of categorize the code that you push to open source repositories and then helps you kind of get a glance of your performance, your, you know, your score, how many days have you been contributing, your real value as an engineer. The main goal of Gitfile is to allow engineers everywhere around the world to have the ability to know where they stand, what their true value is, and even help them kind of, you know, uh, improve themselves by giving them opportunities and documentation and videos, all the stuff that I've been uh, publishing around the engineering standard and best practices. I'm trying to put all of that in front of you so you can grow your career and grow your uh, engineering craft uh, in a way that is world class. Gitfile has so many different aspects and so many different usages and I'm going to continue to push um, uh, new features and, and new capabilities with the amazing team of engineers that are working with me to make sure that you have the best experience possible as a software engineer, but I also want you to know your worth. I want you to know what you need to do next so you can grow. Um, uh, what's your real value and how much contributions you know have you made and what does that mean for the world? All right, so this this demo or this sprint, you know, I'm going to show you two things. Uh, number one, the experience. You hear a lot of people say, oh, I have 10 years of experience, 20 years of experience, I have 30, 50 years of experience in the industry. But but a lot of these years and a lot of these, uh, you know, times, they weren't really uh, fully engaged in an actual engineering and design. There are vacation times and there is, you know, idle times, people that stopped investing in their own skill sets and they just sat around and by sitting around in the same position at the same company for the same, you know, job, they somehow think they have that kind of experience. I think when you say 10 years of experience and 20 years of experience, it should kind of reflect real data that is quantifiable and that is you know measurable right you will hear a lot about someone who says oh i've been doing this for 15 years but when you sit down with them and you try to pair with them and you try to work with them you know they don't really seem to grasp anything at all you know it it it, it shows you that they've just you know kind of turned into dinosaurs and they're not really you know keeping themselves relevant you know with with the forever going changes in our in our industry um, the our software industry doesn't really respect tradition if you're sitting around you know are not really contributing and not really working on your skill set you're gonna drop you know the idea that you have a title or a position that makes you in a leadership position while not investing in these skill sets doesn't really mean anything at all because outside in the market if someone tries to ask you you know oh you, you, you are within that realm and within that environment known as a lead but if if I take you out of that environment and put you out on the street and say go ahead and develop a mobile application or web application that people are actually going to use in the real world and you can't then you're not really worth much right so there's a lot of people that have contextual value you know because they sat around in a place we want to kind of eliminate that nonsense we want to say listen your 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 title your value your capacity and capability is very limited is very very limited by your ongoing value and contribution you know to the tech industry once you stop your value starts to drop just like a stock market right you know you you stop investing you stop working on your skill set you stop being a person that is you know actively contributing to the software industry then you start kind of you know diving in you know instead of being up there forever and negatively influencing the upcoming you know eager minds of tomorrow the people that are actually want to change the world and want to contribute and want to actually make the world a better place and have the power and passion and energy to change the world so so the first the first feature that we're introducing here is the experience right you contribute code we're going to give you details about the code that you're contributing let me show you here what that looks like so i'm going to go up in here and I'm going to share my screen in here and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here's the screen. So I'm going to go to get file. Really highly recommend you have that in your favorites. So here it is. So this this here says, OK, Hassan, your contributions, your continuous active contributions is 35 days worth 
in in the open source world what that basically means is that my contributions prs being opened up matching the standards and getting merged in is 35 days that's my age in the tech industry based on the code that i've been contributing actively to the open source community okay that's number one what that basically means is that every day you contribute something it's going to say okay this person actually worked that day right this this person actually have that kind of value and they actually contributed that day so that's the first feature okay so that's your real experience it can go up to 9000 20000 like i think 20 years worth if you contribute every single year you know every day of every single year for 20 years you, then your experience should be something that looks like i don't know let's calculate this together you should be something that's like 365 days multiply that by 20 years then you should get some 7300 days in here that's 20 years of actual contribution and active contribution to the tech industry and the open source community okay so that's the number there all right What's the other feature that I'm going to add? It's really, really important for you to understand your, okay, we're trying to show you different aspects of your skill sets, of your, um, of your actual talent, right? So let's say, for instance, you know, okay, you, you have a score of 50, right? With another, let's say John and Jane, John has a score of 50 and Jane has a score of 50, but, and both of them maybe have the same amount of days and experience. So they, so they're exactly the same in the same aspects, right? And both of them have contributed exactly to the same amount of categories, foundation services. I'm adding a new differentiation point to give you that kind of advantage to know where you are by measuring the average time you take you know, per day to actually produce a particular component or a particular feature that is standard compliant. Whether you're building a broker that's an API integration or a data database integration or external source into integration in general, or building a foundation service or building an orchestration, whatever you're building out there, right? If it's standard compliant, the system now can measure the average you know, uh, amount of minutes or hours, you know, that you would take or days that you would take to complete a feature. So let me show you what this looks like. And let me just explain to you what that means. If you look up in here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so people see, you'll see this amazing new thing. Now it says, okay, Hassan, you know, you have done three PRs for infrastructure and, and your average is five minutes, give or take. So if you are, if you are given an infrastructure uh, component or task, that's following the standard, that's very clear about what you're going to build and all that, you're going to take around five minutes. If I give you a code rub based on the complexity of the code rubs that you've been building, some code rubs are bigger than others, you might take about four hours. If you're working on a full end-to-end -end foundation service, you know, with the code reviews, with all, you know, the feedback that you may get, all the commits in your history, measuring the first commit and the last commit you take about six days the same thing with brokers uh, components you know controllers you know acceptance test pages all these different components it'll give you a true measure of how much you actually would take to complete a particular task now this number is not static because it's an average right so that means if you start if you're starting with the new standard and you're just learning these things for the first time and let's say your first contribution is you know let's say you built a broker and it took you two hours and then your average is two hours per you know contribution okay two hours let's say the next time you created a broker you took one hour right so now it's an hour and a half you're averaging an hour and a half because that's that's uh two brokers for three hours right two hours in the first one and one hour in the next one so it's three hours so that means you're you're kind of going down now you know in terms of how long it takes you and i use this average to kind of help you uh see where you stand right you know i want you to be able to look like this and say okay i'm doing really well with infrastructure but i take way too much time building brokers right and that it, it doesn't matter whether you're pairing or not pairing it's your job to bring your pair up to speed and mainly if you work on enough of these tasks it'll kind of even out your contribution so this is this one is really really important to understand the time if someone is giving you a component and saying here's a task this is only one component and i was probably showing something someone something so it took a little bit of time but that's okay because that's also all factored in you know the amount of time you actually take from the from the first commit you make to the last commit you make right now let's say there's only one commit let's say you know, you have only one code drop and there's only one commit this is where we go and kind of 
arbitrarily kind of try to calculate, you know, okay, on average, this guy does this much with code drops, so this, this is going to be their value. It's still something that is subject to change, but these calculations are also not kind of stale. They're very active and very they're changing all the time. What that basically means is that if, if you have a project that's coming in and someone is asking you, okay, Hassan, you know, we, you have, we have this project that requires us to build, you know, some 20 components and five foundation service and services and maybe five brokers, you know, how long it would take. Ideally, I would allow you to enter your data into Git file and Git file will say, okay, for you, it would take you about five weeks you know, to kind of finish up that project. So when you are working, whether you're working at a corporate or working in a startup or working outside of um, uh, in, in the freelance world or on your own, you will be able to give people an actual, true, accurate estimates of how long it would actually take for you to deliver a particular feature and a particular value. That's where the second component comes in, something that I call the estimizer component. The estimizer is basically going to give you the most accurate, you know, um, uh, uh, time you would take to actually deliver that value. And and the less the less value, the less time you take to deliver a component, the higher your rank and the higher your value would be as a software engineer. So you would be more likely to be someone that people would reach out to, you know, once we start publishing, allowing people to kind of publicly publish their profiles, you know, so people can search and all that kind of stuff through Git file. You know, if, if, if someone has a project and they want to run the estimates and they want to find the best of the best of the best engineers out there that can actually help them finish up that project as soon as fast as possible, you know, Git file will be able to give them that answer. So, so that's pretty much it for this week. It, it's been a lot of work, you know, just to be able to migrate the data and fix some details and all that kind of stuff. A, a part, a, a very important part that we're gonna give you as well is the the right to be forgotten. Like I said, you'll be able to go and say, I don't want to be tracked by Git file anymore, even if I'm contributing to a standard compliant project. And that's just a human right, your ability to be able to not be tracked. You know, not having a file like this, not having a profile that reflects. I wouldn't know. I, I don't know why you wouldn't, but we want to give people the right to be able to um, uh, do that. Uh, the last thing, you know, just like I said, we have more than 141 open opportunities. 141 opportunities for you to go out there and just say, take it. I want to take this opportunity. I want to go out there and start working with this opportunity. These opportunities are really important because when you go to one of these opportunities, that means the system is basically telling you, here is here is your highest contribution and here's your lowest contribution, right? And if documentation is my lowest contribution, maybe I need to add in more, more, more uh, documentation in there. Right, so the system automatically is helping you learn an engineering standard. Um, uh, you know, open up opportunities for you to go train yourself. Take advantage of this. This is built by engineer for you as an engineer to be able to grow your skill sets and be able to go out there and build into end software. That's pretty much it, uh, it for our sprint here. Uh, I look forward to the next sprint. We're going to be adding uh, even more exciting features. And, uh, you know, as usual, you know, if you have any comments, suggestions, you know, concerns, please drop that comment in the comment section. And I'm more than happy to incorporate that in. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.